Novena in honor our patron, Saint Dominic de Guzman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Act of Contrition O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having I offended you, and I detest all my sins, because I fear the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because I offended you, my God, who are all God and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Prayer for every day, O oh God, who raised up the world through the passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, grant that we who are gathered today in honor of St. Dominic may humble ourselves, renounce the things of this world, and to die to the pomps and vanities of life. Send us your Holy Spirit, that we may be one in truth and be one in love, so that like St. Dominic, your faithful servant, we may be living witnesses of your goodness, truth, and love in society, fragmented by divisive conflicts and afflicted with widespread poverty. Help us, St. Dominic, to seek always the glory of God, to direct all our affections, desires, and efforts in proclaiming the kingdom of God to our words, deeds, and lives. Help us to inculturate the gospel values as you did and as many other Dominican saints did during their times. Be with us in our journey and always lead us to Jesus, who is our truth, our way, and our life. Amen. Ninth day, joy. Please all stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy and be you, and that your joy may be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel passage we have just heard presents to us the answer to a question na marami sa atin na nagtatanong lalo na sa mga panahon ito. Yung tanong na, paano ba maging masaya? As we have heard from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, Jesus gives us the answer to remain in His love. To remain is yung manatili, hindi aalis, hindi iiwan, magbabad sa pag-ibig niya. Pero paano nga ba natin magagawang magbabad sa pag-ibig ng Diyos? Let us look at the example of our Holy Father, St. Dominic, who is always known to be a joyful friar. Ibig sabihin, lagi siyang nananatili sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Sa pamamagitan, na laging pakikipag-usap sa Kanya by always talking to God. Siyempre, andyan yung prayer, reading and reflecting on scriptures, by searching for truth in every circumstance or experience of His life. By always talking about God, lahat ng Kanyang makasalamuha, makausap, lahat ng lumalabas sa Kanyang bibig ay patungkol sa Diyos. Sa ganong para na ibabahagi din niya ang pag-ibig at ligaya na nagmumula sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Lastly, his fidelity to the to his life as a priest, as a preacher. By do by his acts of charity, lalo na sa mga panahon na maraming nangangailangan tao. By doing what is just what is good to others. Kailangan ba gawin din natin yung ginawa ni St. Dominic para maging masaya din tayo? 
Sa ganung paraan ba tayo makakapagbabad sa pag-ibig ng Diyos? We have our own ways sa mga panahon natin ngayon. Marami nagbago uh, since the pandemic, pero nandyan pa rin, nananatili pa rin yung mga paraan kung paano magbabad sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Una, by always talking to God. Siyempre, by our own prayer life, by our prayer life as a community, by reading and reflecting scripture passages, lalo na yung mga napapahingga natin sa Banan na Misa, by looking for what is true, good, and beautiful even in social media. Yung mga pinanonood natin, yung mga binabasa natin, yung mga bagay ba na iyon ay nagdalapit sa atin sa Diyos? Kung yes, then that's an instrument of remaining in God's love. Pangalawa, by always talking about God. Sa mga posts ba natin, lumilitaw yung kagandahan loob ng Diyos? Siyempre, maganda yung mga posts about Jesus, yung mga pictures na, pero nature, by posting encouraging quotes, encouraging words, sa pakikipag-usap ba natin sa mga tao, yung mga lumalabas ba sa bibig natin ay mahalimuyak o masangsang ang amoy dahil sa hindi maganda pakinggan, nakakasakit sa kapwa. By always talking to others in the kindest way, by expressing ourselves in ways that would help others, no? that's also remaining in God's love. Lastly, by frequenting the sacraments, by doing acts of charity, in deeds, in words, or prayer, no? that's also a means of remaining in God's love. Let us pray to St. Dominic that we also might become joyful followers of Christ. Dahil sa pagmamahal natin sa Kanya, dahil sa pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa, lalo na sa mga nangailangan, dahil yung nagmamahal, nananatili yan, hindi nang iiwan. At yung nananatili nagmamahal, nananatili masaya sa kabila ng hirap at sakripisyo. Dahil alam natin na tayo ay nag minamahal din ng Diyos. Let us be joyful. Let us remain in God's love. Let us share the joy of God's love to others. God bless. Reflection This all day. Let us pray, O joyful friar, St. Dominic, tolerant master, grace-filled preacher, gospel man of prayer, pray that your sons and daughters may be faithful to your heritage of common life, common prayer, study of truth and service. Pray for all of us that we may not lose heart in the face of all difficulties and our success, but rather, at all time we may praise, bless, and preach that Jesus Christ is Lord and that He has overcome the world. Our Novena Intentions For world leaders, that God may give them the grace to work together during this pandemic to promote justice and special care toward the poor and vulnerable. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, that God will give them the wisdom and courage they need as they lead the church during this pandemic. For all frontliners, that God will protect their health as they continually put themselves at trees in service to others. For those most susceptible to the coronavirus, that God will protect them from illness and surround them with a peace of knowing that they are loved and cared for beyond measure. For the sick, that they may experience God's healing power in body, mind, and spirit and be surrounded by the love and support of others. For all the faithful, that God will give us the grace to know His presence in our everyday lives and to know Him as our constant companion 
in times of loneliness, our gladness in times of suffering, and our sure hope in times of uncertainty. For all of us, Dominicans, students, parents, administrators, faculty, and staff, that we may be inspired by the life and example of our Holy Father, St. Dominic, to be agents of truth, love, and service to our brothers and sisters. In silence, let us offer to God the personal petitions we wish to obtain through the intercessions of St. Dominic. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O wonderful hope that you have given at the hour of our death, when you promise to be of more help to us after your death, Father, keep your word and aid us by your prayers. Your sanctity has shown too many signs in the bodies of afflicted, bringing to us the help of Christ and heal our souls in their illness and refining. Father, keep your word and aid us by your prayers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Father, keep your word and aid us by your prayers. Pray for us, blessed Father Dominic, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, let the holiness and teaching of Saint Dominic come to the aid of your church. May he help us now with his prayers as he once inspired people by his preaching. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Aqui.